Today, we'll be learning how to think clay with mason stain. Let's take a look at the material. You will need mason stain, a wood stick, clay, a container, water, kale, and a pair of gloves. I frequently get the question how much stain I need to use in order to acquire the color I want? The answer to this question is, it will depend on your objective. The ability to produce a pale, medium, and saturated hue will always be available, and there is a percentage assigned to each of these. Therefore, you should use 2-5% to for a light color, 8-10% to for a medium tone, and 15 or more for a saturated color. What exactly does it this mean? Let's look at an example to see how it works. If I want a light hue and my clay weighs 698 grams, I can calculate how much stain I'll need by multiplying the clay weight by the percentage assigned to a pale hue. This formula will give me the amount of stain that I need. The medium color and the saturated color can be created using the same formula. So certainly you have to make a decision on what you want before you can begin combining stains to your clay. When you're ready, start mixing your mason stain with water. Here you must obtain a creamy solution. This is how it feels. Next, bring your clay. To make it easier to blend with the stain, I like to split it into small pieces. Following that, you pour your solution to the clay. You are prepared to begin mixing, and remember to use your gloves. It normally takes a few minutes to blend the clay and make it even, and you could get tired, but the effort is worthwhile. When you're ready, you can place your clay in a container or plastic bag for storage. Make sure there is no air within, and if your clay dries out, you can simply rehydrate it with water. That's it. Remember to always test, experiment, and if you have the time and patience, prepare your own samples. Thanks for watching.